after arriving in uh, Tokyo and going to uh, that temple, which we didn't actually get access to because the uh, lineups were so long, we uh, went to a, uh, a park in uh, downtown Tokyo, a very elegant, stately park close to the Imperial Palace. And uh, we saw this, uh, this very uh, uh, elegantly... A dramatically uh, done uh, statue of a uh, of a Japanese uh, samurai horseman from the um, I suppose from uh, what may what may be called the uh, pre-imperial imperial period a sort of glorification of Japanese militarism and one still finds this in Japan one finds this tremendous tension between a militaristic past and a sort of a wish to uh, to uh, uh, cover it up because Japan is at the same time a remarkably pacific nation and you find uh, two, uh, two mentalities in the nation, a, a very sort of pro-peace one and a very nationalistic, uh, rather pro-militaristic one. Uh, and then uh, after that we uh, went to a, uh, a restaurant in a sort of large mo uh, modern mall and on the way there I spotted a bridge that looked uh, rather familiar. It looked a bit like the Brooklyn Bridge. And then, uh, lo and behold, close by was, it was the Brooklyn Bridge because uh, next to it was the Statue of Liberty. And uh, so we went up to this uh, 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 this restaurant, this Chobop, uh, Mekju and Chobop restaurant, or Beiro and sushi restaurant, and uh, enjoyed uh, sushi and some uh, acai draft. And out the window, you could see dimly this uh, Statue of Liberty there lingering in the background. Uh, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, America in Tokyo.